Welcome back to the Pump YouTube channel. As a part of our Everything You Need to Know Before Pre-Med series, we are super excited to help prospective medical professionals gain the insight they need when making program selections and choosing the right path for their own medical journey. Located in Hamilton, Ontario is McMaster University, possessing their one and only health sciences program. Among applicants, it is regarded as the best undergraduate program to prepare you for admission into medical school. With its reputation comes a very competitive acceptance rate, and being one of the hardest programs to get into with an estimated acceptance rate of under 5%. Nonetheless, in today's video, we're going to take a quick deep dive into the program as a whole, from admission mission requirements to what the program entails, to even what students in the program have to say about it. So let's strap in and jump straight into the admission requirements for McMaster University's Health Sciences program. To understand McMaster Health Sciences program, we must first consider the overall landscape of applying to the university, then delve into some of the provincial requirements. To begin, the Health Sciences program is a direct entry program, meaning it requires an 80% minimum mark in all of your 12th grade courses, which are required as prerequisites for admission. In English, math, biology, chemistry, and one other non-math, non-science, non-technology course. McMaster operates on a top six average model for Ontario applicants, and a top five average for applicants outside of Ontario, meaning that in addition to math, English, biology, and chemistry, you have one or two more possible courses that can boost your average. To be more specific, in Ontario, you would require these courses. In Alberta, you would require these courses and finally for British Columbia you would require these courses. Check the link in our pinned comments to see more information about your prerequisites for your respective province. While you must have an 80% minimum mark in all the courses you plan to apply with, it is also required to have a minimum 90% average to be able to proceed to the second round of applications, otherwise known as the supplemental application. Typically, like most super competitive programs in Canada, it is expected that applicants who want a better chance of getting into the program to have an average above 95. However, it should be noted that admission into McMaster is based on two deciding factors, grades and your supplemental application. The higher your grade, the more lenient the weighting on your supplemental application, and likewise to offset a lower application average, a stronger supplemental application needs to be written. Shifting over to the cost of tuition for the health sciences program, in-province students are expected to pay a grand total of 6.5k per year, whilst out-of-province students can expect to pay 7k per year. However, on on the other hand, international students are expected to pay closer to 54k in a given year. Now, moving over to the program itself, let's take a quick look at what it entails from first year courses to overall program goals and expectations. The Bachelor of Health Sciences Honors Program takes an innovative interdisciplinary approach to exploring health, wellness, and illness. It provides students with comprehensive understanding of health from biological, behavioral, and population-based perspectives by integrating core and health sciences. This program is the only one of its kind in Ontario, encompassing a wide array of departments within the health sciences, including medicine, pathology and molecular medicine, psychiatry and behavioral neurosciences, as well as clinical epidemiology and biostatistics. Interaction with healthcare professionals and applied researchers enhance the foundational sciences, which is central to the core tenets of the health sciences program. In terms of what you will take, you can be expected to take 30 units worth of courses, ranging from cellular and molecular Biology, Introduction to Chemistry 1, Introduction to Chemistry 2, an Introductory Inquiry course, Interdisciplinary Problem Solving in Health, a Praxis Pathways 1 course, alongside 9 units of electives. Hi everyone, I'm Steph and I'm currently in the Health Sciences program at McMaster. In terms of my first year, I honestly had a really good experience. I didn't find the jump from high school to first year too difficult, I would say, but I was more just intrigued at how differently things were done. I did struggle a little bit with some subjects like chemistry and cell bio, but overall I was just really surprised at how different some other courses were such as inquiry and praxis where they're really teaching you more about soft skills such as interacting with your community and just uh, communication and things like that so I really enjoyed it it's a pretty tight community here in HealthSci and 
if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. If you're looking to enhance your academic experience this fall and winter, MyTax offers an exceptional funding opportunity for undergraduate researchers. Through MyTax, students can secure funding for research projects, connect with industry partners, and develop valuable skills, all of which are crucial for a successful future career. Meanwhile, the McMaster Work Program provides part-time on-campus employment opportunities during the fall and winter terms, with over 1,250 jobs available across various departments and offices, offering students in need of financial support a chance to work in different areas. For those in the Chemistry and Chemical Biology program, the Audrey Cameron Academic Excellence Awards present a unique chance to gain hands-on research experience. These awards support 16-week summer positions in the department's research labs, giving students the opportunity to engage in valuable research and learning. Beyond these, there are specialized research initiatives like JERAS, which focuses on improving the lives of older adults through high-impact research and the Population Health Research Institute, which tackles global health and challenges such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and cancer through international collaboration and innovation. Similarly, the Thrombosis and Arthrosclerosis Research Institute unite experts in basic and clinical research to explore abnormal blood clot formation and bleeding disorders, aiming to design novel therapies that improve patient outcomes. As spring and summer approach, the McMaster Institute for Research on Aging offers undergraduate summer research fellowships fostering interdisciplinary research that benefits older adults, their caregivers, and other stakeholders. Fellowship recipients will have the opportunity to present their research at the Mira and Labarge Research Symposium in the following school year. Additionally, NSERC provides undergraduate student research awards encouraging students to pursue research in the natural sciences, including health sciences. These awards offer a summer research opportunity under the supervision of a McMaster faculty member, providing valuable experience for those considering graduate studies. The Biochemistry and Biomedical Sciences Summer Scholars Program is another standout opportunity. This fully funded 12-week program offers cutting-edge skills, training, mentorship, and career development for students from equity-deserving groups. Finally, don't forget to explore the Funding Opportunities Database at McMaster University. This resource provides current and upcoming funding competitions, as well as provincial, national, and international awards and honors. Whether you're seeking grants for healthcare research or other areas, this database is a valuable tool. For more information about opportunities, check the link in our pinned comments. Hi there, my name is Lucy and I'm a recent Bachelor of Health Sciences graduate from McMaster University. And when I think about my four years spent at Mac, I think that research was definitely the highlight of my undergraduate degree. McMaster is a great place to be if you're interested in exploring different forms of research, including both clinical dry lab research as well as wet lab work. And there's a range of facilities at McMaster that are a perfect place for you to do so, ranging from the McMaster Children's Hospital to St. Joseph's Hospital, where I worked previously in a neuroimmunology lab, as well as McMaster Health Forum, which is renowned for its leadership in health policy research. And so if you're a student who's looking to get involved with your first research opportunity or looking to explore different areas of interest, McMaster University is definitely the place to be. McMaster University, located in Hamilton, Ontario, offers a vibrant campus life. Life, enriched by its picturesque setting and diverse community. The campus itself is a blend of historic and modern architecture, providing a beautiful backdrop for both academic pursuits and social activities. The university fosters an active student community with over 200 clubs and various student services provided by the McMaster Students' Union, which also offers political representation and enhances student life through numerous events and services. Living in Hamilton complements the campus experience with its rich cultural diversity and affordable cost of living compared to larger cities like Toronto. The city's proximity to Toronto allows easy access to urban amenities while maintaining a more relaxed suburban feel. Overall, McMaster University and Hamilton together offer a dynamic and supportive environment for students to thrive both academically and personally. Hi guys, my name is Ruhi and I just finished my second year of health sciences at McMaster University. Um, I think in terms of getting involved in student life outside of the classroom, there's a lot of opportunities to do that. Um, specifically with clubs, I ended up joining um, a few. So I was part of DSM, which is Desi Students at McMaster. Um, I was part of the McMaster Opioid Crisis Collective and 
I co-founded the McMaster chapter of Meal Care. So there's a lot of different opportunities there. Um, you can also join intramurals. I personally did basketball and I did it in the women's and co-ed leagues. And it's a great opportunity to get a workout in and also meet new people and just engage with the McMaster community. And the last thing I'll say is that there's a lot of new facilities at McMaster. We just recently opened up the Pulse, which is our gym. It's a great supportive environment in there to get your workouts in and again, meet new people. And um, we opened up the Hub, which is a new um, hangout spot for McMaster students. And finally, there's a new residence building that's under construction. So lots of new things coming up. And if you're interested in joining the, the university, I really hope you do. And I wish you the best. We hope you gain valuable insights into the application process for McMaster's Health Sciences program. Being one of the best universities for producing numerous medical professionals through its innovative approach at interdisciplinary learning, it has become recognized as one of Canada's top pre-med programs. On behalf of the PUMP team, we wish you the best of luck with your application. If you have any questions about this program or other Canadian pre-med programs, feel free to join our undergraduate admissions Discord server, which is pinned in the comments, as well as on our official website and Instagram page. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. We hope to see you in our next video.